Kevin Feige, he's just like, nah, bro, Mirror Force, I got that ass. Marvel's just winning, bro. Marvel is absolutely winning at every single turn. Bad news, bad. First, start by saying thank you guys for coming out to the stream. I really appreciate that. Um, do me a favor, guys. Do me a solid favor. If you guys are on YouTube, please go over to the Twitch and follow my Twitch. If you are on the Twitch, please go over to YouTube and subscribe. If you are already subscribed and follow on both, um, I'm going to need y'all to pull up Twitter right now and go follow me on Twitter. If you already do that, I know you're a liar because not everybody does that. Okay? Don't lie to me. You know, don't worry about lying to me. Stop. You gotta worry about lying to yourself, okay? <laughs> but anyway, um, so let's go ahead and get into it for today. Um, I have, I don't have quick keys established for uh, OBS Studio, so I have to like physically click and press things. So for today, ladies and gentlemen, we are not only talking and discussing about a few things that are going on in the entertainment industry. Hold on, let me close Overwatch so that way there's not a whole lot of background going on. Um, I'm not watching my stream anywhere, am I? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, uh, there's this page that I follow on Instagram that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm gonna pull up this first image here. Um, two of them are pictures. I'm sorry, two of them are videos. I think one of them is just a picture. So, uh, I wanna let you guys know, first of all, I have not seen Venom. Uh, not yet, but I'm hearing good and bad things about Venom. So, the first thing I want to establish is regardless if Venom is doing good or Venom is doing bad, just by the court of public opinion, Kevin Feige's winning. That's all I'm saying. Kevin Feige is over there plotting like he's actually Thanos. He's just like, yo, as soon as I get all these properties, everybody gone like it's nothing. Okay, my man literally owns half of the entire superhero roster to ever exist at all. Like, the only thing that could make this any better for Kevin Feige is if Warner Brothers themselves were like, yo, listen, listen, we can't hire Jay Sama, okay? Because he's not ready. So, uh, Kevin, can you please run our DCEU? We need you to run this thing. And he goes, you know what? I have a lot on my plate, but my man Jay Sama's not exactly like, He's not exactly available right now. So you know what? We're just, just gonna let DC coast and you know do their Titans, their Aquaman, all this other, all this other stuff that they're doing, which is a whole nother video that I have to do. But you know what? Like I said, Kevin Feige is the only one taking nothing but W's. Every time somebody tries to do something against Kevin Feige, he's just like, nah, bro, mirror force. I got that ass. So <laughs> it's just so interesting because I was really, really hyped for this movie. I was really, like, it was, the word hype does not even reach the level of excited I was for Venom, okay? Venom just seemed like it was this thing that wrote itself, you know? Like, you don't have to do too much for Venom to be awesome. He just gotta, you just gotta get a good actor to play Eddie Brock, which they have. Tom Hardy is amazing in everything that he plays. And, you know, just, Make Venom do Venom stuff. Like how, how difficult is that? Really, really just, and sometimes I actually sit and I think about the entertainment industry as a whole, both video games, music, uh, film, TV, all of this stuff. And it just seems like everybody's so comfortable, like so, so comfortable. Everybody likes their cushiony job, you know, making sequels, you know, whether it be Universal, Paramount, uh, you know, Sony. Everybody's just like, yo, if it doesn't guarantee us money, we're not doing it. We're gonna make 12 Fast and Furious movies. We're gonna make 13 more Jurassic Parks. We're gonna make 14 more superhero movies. Like there's only so much that you can take before people are just like, eh. Whatever, but seeing as this is the first time in history that something like this has ever happened, we don't know what the trend is yet. We've seen smaller trends exist in the entertainment industry, but we haven't exactly seen this roller coaster of like fads go in and out. Like you guys remember back in the day, a while ago, this was like during the Harry Potter, like just out of Spy Kids days. You know, I was a teenager at the time and everybody was fascinated with vampires. You, you remember, like everybody was like, yo, everything gotta have vampires in it, everything. 
And then after that, it was vampires and werewolves, then vampires versus werewolves. Now we got ghosts. That, that obviously didn't last that long. So you can see these trends currently do exist in the entertainment industry. But really what I'm, what I'm actually getting at is today I'm showing you some new images for the new portion of where the MCU is going. Rather they acquire Venom from Sony or they don't. So this uh, image actually is brought to us by uh, some of my buddies over at Amazing Fantasy. Now, I don't know any of these guys, but I call them my buddies because this is where I get all my information from. So check this out. I'm gonna show you guys this image here, boom. Now, this is the new photo on the set of Spider-Man Far From Home. What is Spider-Man Far From Home, you say? It is the next Spider-Man project with Tom Holland. Now. I have a few things to speculate about here because I was also reading an article and because I, I don't have the official article in front of me, I didn't feel like going to find it and I feel like it's a little, it's a little bullshit, is the fact that Kevin Feige would be open to partnering with Sony and getting their version of Venom to join the MCU. Now this is very interesting because it's, it doesn't sound so far-fetched because it's already happened with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. They got the licensing for Spider-Man. They said, hey, we're gonna take this chunk of time. We're gonna add Spider-Man to the MCU and we'll see what happens. So far, you know, long time ago, somebody said this wouldn't happen. Like Sony's never gonna give that up. Fox is never gonna give up X-Men. And yet here we are in 2018 and Marvel's just winning, bro. Marvel is absolutely winning at every single turn. So, uh, the reason why I wanted to show this image is because this is the stealth suit. Um, and anybody not familiar with this suit, myself included, um, I know this is a suit that was included in the newest Spider-Man game. I've actually seen multiple comics with this Spider-Man. Uh, it's also called Spider-Man Noir, I think is what a lot of people are deeming it. Um, and I know the one from Into the Spider-Verse is this suit but he has like a like a, a trench coat and a and a uh, and a, like a detective hat or whatever. Now this isn't the only thing I wanted to show you guys, okay? Because this is actually very exciting to me. Let me show you this other image here. Check this out. Um, so it comes from the exact same page, but uh, it is a video showing Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio. Now I know this is been something that's already been confirmed and everybody's already known about it, but I'm gonna let you know right now. I didn't know about this, okay? Um, as you can see, this was posted a while ago, but once again, my friends over at Amazing Fantasy keep things up, they don't delete stuff. This is an actual full video. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but we'll find out. Check this out. We're just gonna go ahead and play this clip, and obviously, it's very, very low quali quality imagery of Jake Gyllenhaal in this Mysterio costume, and it looks like this is bits and pieces of New York. There's a carnival going on. So that might be like, I don't know if you guys remember in Spider-Man Homecoming where the plane actually lands uh, and Spider-Man is interacting with, with Vulture, you know, and they have that big climactic fight or whatever. There's actually a carnival right there. So I don't know where this is in New York or Jersey because um, I've never been. So somebody will have to verify if this is an actual carnival that exists that's like all year round or whatever, but I'm sure it's, it's whatever. So as we see, we have people on the Ferris wheel, we have extras walking around and stuff, we have crew members, we obviously see all the camera settings and stuff. So I'm really, really excited to see where this goes because look at all this crap on the ground. First of all, if there's anything Marvel is known for, it's throwing crap on the screen and just like leaving it there. Like <laughs> that's just what they do in every single Avengers movie. And then here's a better quality image. Let me go ahead and zoom this in for y'all real quick. Hold up, let's get like, like. I am actually very, very excited to see Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio. I wonder where they're going to take this idea of Mysterio. Like, I wonder if he's gonna be magic. I wonder if he's just gonna be an illusionist because there are several additions to Mysterio. And so I just wanna see, I just wanna know what we got going on. That's it. That's is that simple, plain and simple. Um, and then we have one other video, which is actually Tom Holland himself in the stealth suit. Um, and you know what? I'd have to say, from watching this, obviously we get no ideas what this carnival scene is like but it looks pretty dope and I'm hyped for it. So we have Tom Holland on the ground. I don't know if that's him or his stunt double, but you know, look at these eyes on this suit. Oh my God, this looks, this looks amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm hyped for it. I'm here for it, you know? And um, I just wanted to, I, I'm just thinking about it. And I'm like, yo, this is, 
we're seeing the next Spider-Man be developed right now. Like this is this is what 2018 has brought us. This is what ha social media has pushed forward. Social media has really pushed forward a point where movies now introduce everything. They want to give you news updates. They want to give you screenshots. They want to give you all of this and say it was leaks, okay? Because really all it does is it's just what I would consider guerrilla marketing. It's really just one of these things where it's just like, oh no, it got out. People are excited for it. Time to make a Deadpool movie. Like, I'm just saying, it's not coincidental. These things happen all the time. So, you know, I'm interested to know uh, what is going on with this movie. And not just that, I'm very interested to see what you guys think. Are you guys hyped for this new Spider-Man movie? And I actually have a theory about this, and this is where Venom comes into play and why I talked about it at the beginning of the video. So, essentially what we're seeing here is a chance for Venom to show up. Now, hear me out, hear me out. Obviously, this takes place either on another planet or it takes place in another dimension or it takes place somewhere else other than where the Avengers are, Tony Stark, Bruce Banner, pretty much everybody. This is completely separate. And I say that only because why would we be getting a new suit like this? Number one. And number two, pretty sure the snap is something that exists, my boys. The snap is the reason why we have a new spider suit. Okay, now as you can see, this is just concept art where somebody photoshopped a homecoming uh, costume, right? Let me show you guys this. Somebody took the homecoming suit and just photoshopped it properly. Very good Photoshop, I'd have to say, for a black suit. Now, hear me out on this. The idea of Spider-Man far from home, the idea of Spider-Man from far from home is that he is indeed far from home. Now, I don't know if that's in time, I don't know if that's in another galaxy, in another universe, or whatever the case may be. But let's just say he's off the planet, right? He's off the planet, let's say he spawns with like some of the guardians of the galaxy or something. I don't know, there's gonna be some type of cameo in this. But what if, because of this Sony, what I would say may or may not be a flop, allegedly, for Venom, if they acquire the rights to Venom, and they basically are shooting so much of the movie and they said, you know what, let's introduce the symbiote. Let's introduce the fact that the symbiote exists in the movie Venom, in Sony's property of Venom, right? And Spider-Man goes to a, like another planet and that's the first time he bonds with a symbiote. Now hear me out here. Now, anybody who has seen more than one trailer of Venom knows that this version of Venom is not Spider-Man's Venom. He has like these weird tentacles. He's basically a hentai monster, okay? Let's not even fuck around, okay? So, if my boy actually does come in contact with the symbiote, and by the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, either gets rid of it or makes his way home, the symbiote now has a chance to bond with another symbiote that could exist in the same universe if Sony's Venom is acquired into the MCU. So now you can have Tom Holland and Tom Hardy in the same movie and everything be kosher. Because if you take, take a look at Venom, which once again, disclaimer, I have not seen yet, takes place in San Francisco, which is clearly not New York City. So it's com so far from Spider-Man that it's just like, okay, we can have the events of Venom still exist and the black suit exists in the MCU. So now that Peter Parker has been exposed to the symbiote and he's gotten rid of it or he keeps it, he comes back to Earth, reunites with Tony Stark, whatever, who cares what happens, okay, in the next Avengers movie, all right? Um, which is actually another video because they revealed the title of the next Avengers movie, so that'll be something. So he bonds with the symbiote, comes back home, the symbiote leaves him, bonds with Venom. That now gives Venom spider powers. That introduces the white crest on his chest, which he does not have in the Venom movie. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but he just doesn't have it. And people are wondering, hey, this is not Venom, he doesn't have the crest, blah, 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 blah. He needs to bond with Spider-Man in order to get those spider powers. So I'm just saying it is a possibility that it could exist. I don't know. I'm just a nigga with 3,000 subs. This has been your boy Jay Sama. Make sure to give today's video a like. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video.
video and another live stream. If you guys don't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and pretty much any other link that you can find down in my description below. I wanna hear you guys in the comments. What do you think? Could Venom really join the MCU? And is my theory of the symbiote bonding with uh, Peter Parker and then coming back to Venom, is that, could that, is that just me imagining things? Or should I be making the next movie? You decide, let me know. I'll catch you guys in the comments section. <laughs>